Welcome back, everybody. I am R.L. Melpica, the Eat Coach, Natural Health and Diet Specialist. And uh, today I want to address something. Uh, I had an individual put some comments on one of my videos pertaining to the danger of being a raw vegan or eating raw. And I wanted to address all that. But first and foremost, make sure you hit that subscribe button in your lower right hand corner. All right. So is it dangerous to be a raw vegan? Is it dangerous to eat raw? As you can see the comment up here right now, um, I wanted to address it because I think it's important because there's so many misconceptions out there and so many narratives that are pushed. First and foremost, you guys know that I encourage um, you guys to comment and I, I encourage the dialogue, whether it be positive or negative. I love this. I love when people comment from the other side or with... Um, questions or even attacking me in certain instances because it gives me an opportunity to share it and um you know share it with those who might not know the truth or might not know which way to go and i say truth you know reluctantly because a truth is based on the individual right and i've said that many a times i never push my philosophies i am sharing my philosophies it's up to you to make the decision on whether or not it resonates with you um but this particular comment um, basically calling me out, saying that it's dangerous uh, to be uh, to, to eat raw and pointing out specific mic micronutrients that you don't get on a, uh, a natural hygienic diet. And I, I just think it speaks to that mindset that I've talked about in many of my videos where we've just been conditioned to look at health in this micronutrient viewpoint. Right. Where we're we're looking for certain things to make sure we fill all these blocks and calling that a balanced diet. But that stems from the agenda of a cooked food, a cooked food ideology and a meat eating ideology that is lacking so much in these things that they have to compensate for them. And it's pushed by the meat eating. Cor I mean, I'm sorry, the meat producing corporations and the vitamin corporations. These are billion dollar businesses. That's why this mindset is pushed out. That's why the healthcare, um, the healthcare industry and, and doctors and whatnot are not really schooled on the nutritional aspect. They're schooled on, okay, what do I do when these symptoms come up? They're, they're schooled in a completely different ideology. Like diet and nutrition is not a big part of the medical and healthcare industry. Instead, we have these corporations who are pretty much paying nutritionists and, and, and doctors and, and, and others to push out these agendas to tell us that we're lacking in this, we're lacking in that. You know, and if you look at some of the things that this individual mentions, you know, from iron per se, I mean, you get plenty of iron from, from your fruits, leafy greens, nuts and seeds. You get plenty of DHA. And look, we've had the protein conversation way too many times for me to even count. I have countless amounts of videos on it. Um, and, and, and it really goes back to just understanding the concept. I mean, think about it for a meat eater per se to say that they're getting ample protein, but they're getting secondary source protein. Whereas from fruits and leafy greens, nuts and seeds, we're getting the essential amino acids we need. And not to mention your body produces 70% of the protein we need. Remember protein is a builder. And when we're taking animal protein or secondary source protein, our body has to break that down into the amino acids just to build up a human protein. So that's extra processes. That's extra nerve energy that ultimately uh, cause us to, you know, deplete our, our energy, which can be used for other things like healing the body and, and, and ultimately um, getting us closer to homeostasis. Now, the secondary comment from this individual calling me a charlatan, saying I'm out here trying to sell something, this, that, and the other. I think you guys have known, those who have followed my channel, I don't sell you anything. I have one measly little link in my description that says if you need help transitioning to a healthier diet, um, to click the link and go to my website. That is all I've ever put out there. I'm not selling anything. I don't sell herbs. I'm not selling anything to you. I am literally sharing my experiences, sharing my knowledge, because ultimately that is my light. I feel that is my purpose to share and um, 
help with the generational curses that have been put on humankind and humanity at the end of the day, um, because at the core of it, these diseases, the, the life expectancy, things of that nature are where they are because, and not, not only that, but even the neurological side from, you know, some of the cognitive behavior to a lot of the um, mental health issues that people deal with stem from food, the, the uh, obese uh, the, the fact that that our, our our society has become obese, that we are just we're just an extremely unhealthy society. And I share this information merely merely for that. Right. At the end of the day. And whatever you choose to do is completely on you at the end of the day. I share my philosophies. And if it resonates with you, then then I applaud you and, and I implore you to to give it to give it a try. If not, I completely get it. One hundred percent completely get it. It might not be for you. Um, but you know, when you ultimately look at it for anybody to attack uh, anyone who's talking about health uh, or talking about trying to help people transition to something that's going to be for the betterment of them, just make sure you understand where you're coming from, because this individual is a meat eater and, uh, did point out in some of the comments of how a specific, and I'm not going to name any names. You could read the comments if you like. Specific raw vegan uh, died of starvation per se, um, which that's a completely, like I said, different subject. The main thing is, is that you can find a narrative to support anything you want, anything. I mean, that's kind of the beauty and the the, the gift and the curse of having this type of independent freedom when it comes to the internet and things of that nature and, and just information, right? You can always find a narrative to support what you're pushing at the end of the day. But look, nothing, nothing, nothing can dispute the fact that vegans, and I'm not even talking raw vegans, we're just talking vegans, people that don't eat any food that's sourced from an animal live eight years longer than meat eaters. And that the main diseases that continue to destroy our society are all terrain based from heart failure, I'm sorry, to heart disease, to cancer, to diabetes. All three of those are terrain based disease and all three of those have been proven to be cured with raw food diets. So just wanted to share that with everybody. Um, like I said, I implore you all to drop comments. And even if you don't understand what I'm talking about or you're against what I'm talking about or you're attacking what I'm talking about, please do it. Because that just gives us the opportunity to have a dialogue about it. And that's the only way we are going to grow as a society. Peace and love, everybody. You guys have a great day. And um, thank you for subscribing to my channel or just coming to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if this resonates. And uh, please, let's keep this dialogue open and keep it moving. Peace out, everybody.